Shifting our focus as we're getting some breaking developments now coming in, some news coming in from Bihar on the failed liquor policy. At least 10 people have died allegedly due to the consumption of spurious liquor in Saran district of Bihar's Chapra. The police are currently investigating this matter, but a war of words has already erupted, creating ruckus between BJP MLAs and Nitish Kumar over the death due to spurious liquor. BJP leaders demanding apology from the chief minister for the failed liquor policy. Protests have also erupted, protesters blocking roads in Chapra. Protocol war of words already escalating between BJP and the Nitish Kumar government. But first, let's understand what's happened on the ground. My colleague Saurabh Rathor now joining us on the broadcast. Saurabh, help us understand where and when was this episode reported. And unfortunately, I believe 10 lives have already been lost. Is the state government taking responsibility? Uh, not uh, really because in the past also we have seen so many deaths due to spurious liquor in the state but the state government always uh, blame the people uh, who, who consume uh, the spurious liquor saying that uh, we have seen the statements of uh, the chief minister saying that if you will consume alcohol you will die and uh, it is the same uh, thing that happened yesterday when uh, people uh, of Chapra they uh, consumed alcohol from uh, different villages uh, the cases are coming uh, seven people from one uh, two villages and uh, three people from other village uh, were killed because of uh, consumption of the spurious liquor. Although uh, the administration and uh, administration is saying uh, is saying that uh, uh, let the uh, post -rep uh, mortem report come, then only we, we can confirm the death due to alcohol. Now uh, today uh, uh, in the house uh, there was an uproar because of this issue. The BJP they have uh, 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 they tried to stop the working of the house uh, and demanding that there should be a proper discussion of. Uh, uh, the liquor policy which is failing in the state and they are demanding unless the, the uh, there will be a discussion on uh, this uh, 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 on this policy uh, they will not allow the run uh, the house to run uh, so uh, we have seen nitish kumar he was uh, 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 in a different mood today and he uh, upped his ante and uh, he was uh, angry on uh, the bjp leader especially uh, vijay kumar sinha who is uh, uh, the leader of opposition uh, when uh, vijay kumar sinha uh, asked uh, Nitish Kumar to resign on the basis of the failure of the policy in the state. Nitish Kumar said that uh, 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 it's nothing new and the people are consuming alcohol and they are dying. Exactly. And in fact, he said that we will uh, see each and every leaders in the state who are opposing this uh, uh, policy. Uh, on this, uh, uh, the BJP leaders, they went into the well, uh, showed placard against the government demanding uh, the resignation of the chief minister and war of words began. And after that, uh, the adjournment of the house came into uh, act, uh, in being. But you know, sort of, this is a failure of the liquor policy if lives continue to be lost. So is the government at least accepting the fact that possibly there are lags as far as implementation is concerned? 
Yes, exactly. But uh, Nitish Kumar and his ministers, they are firm that uh, everything is going well in the state, although the ground reality is different. Uh, last month also we saw in Vaishali district, three deaths were reported because of the alcohol. But uh, the chief minister and his other ministers are not ready to accept that there are deaths, there are, uh, you know, uh, the casualties are because of the uh, smuggling of uh, spurious liquor. In fact, uh, uh, there are discussions that, uh, uh, in fact, uh, some leaders of RJD also said that uh, liquor is like God in the state. Uh, it is present everywhere, uh, everywhere, but we can't see. So, uh, in fact, uh, the congressmen, the RJD people, they all are in the view that there should be uh, a proper discussion. There should be a review on the policy. But uh, the JDU is uh, affirmed, and they are uh, on their stand that everything is going well in the state, and there is no need of you know uh, thinking on the banning of uh, you know uh, review on the liquor policy in the state. But sort of, we go back to the larger question, which we discuss every time a news like this of spurious liquor comes to light which is where did these people get their hands on with spurious liquor they would have smuggled it from some place which means there is lack of vigilance on the ground as well Uh, see, Ridhima, the problem is it's actually distributed. It's already distributed in the villages. In fact, uh, uh, we see on every day uh, uh, many, uh, you know, uh, uh, trucks are uh, uh, caught with uh, with liquor uh, in them. So one or two trucks won't do. In fact, it, it shows that there are continuous uh, bootlegging of uh, liquor in the state. There are, uh, in fact, uh, we tried to, uh, you know, trace some of the liquor sellers. In fact, we found that at many places, in uh, mostly the slum areas uh, liquor is available in those slum areas in every district it's available but uh, uh, the, the government is focusing on catching hold of only those people who are consuming liquor although uh, last month we saw there was uh, a provision added in the liquor act that uh, their focus will be on uh, you know those who are smuggling liquor but uh, one month has passed uh, the same same thing is going on in the state True. liquor smuggling is continued yeah. we see trucks uh, and other uh, you know vehicles uh, carrying liquor from different states from up haryana west bengal jharkhand these are the states from where the liquor come and um, the state government is failing to control the smuggling of yeah. liquor and because of that in fact in 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 uh, the interiors of bihar we have seen uh, that uh, uh, liquor uh, are being made at at the local level which makes it poisonous and because of the consumption of those spurious liquor people are dying so uh, although the excise department is here to control control the uh, you know manufacturing of local liquor or smuggling but uh, certainly at the ground level we don't see much difference absolutely and because you know the implementation is a failure because if deaths uh, you know if lives continue to be lost then some sort of accountability will have to come from the state government but just going back to the political aspect of this story what is the bjp demanding at this point saurabh <laughs> See, Ridhima, BJP is demanding that there should be a proper discussion. In fact, uh, uh, the words have come from Shushil Modi, the Raj Sabha MP. He said that if Nitish Kumar is failing to, uh, you know, uh, implement the policy in the state, if he is not uh, 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 capable of uh, controlling the sale of liquor in the state, then he should uh, rethink about it. He should resign. He should, uh, in fact, uh, review the policy. These all are demands from the BJP. Today itself, uh, we have seen placards where uh, the BJP leaders are demanding resignation of uh, uh, Nitish Kumar. But Nitish Kumar has said that uh, uh, when when this policy was launched, uh, it was on the discussion of all the parties uh, who who was in the favor of this policy, and then only this policy was implemented okay. in the state. But now.